guys, it's me, Mr. Boss, back today again today. And today, guys, I'm going to be playing some scroll mechanic, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the cliff climbing vehicle. So, yeah. So, to start off, I'm going to be showing you everything you need. So, for this, I'm going to be using two gas canisters uh, full with gas, but you can just use one. I'm going to be using four big wheels, two small wheels, uh, 26 pistons, eight bearings, uh, a level 5 seat, it does need to be level 5 though, nine switches, and an engine. Also these blocks here, uh, and you're going to need a lift and a connection tool of course. So let's get straight into this video. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, get all of my wood here, like so. And we are going to start by the base of the car, so. We are going to <coughs> make it as big as you want, really, just make sure it's an even or an odd width, depending on what you are doing for your vehicle so if you're using a seat like mine I will I'm going to do a uh, 3.6 I'm going to do a 10 wide but if you're doing a small seat do it a 9 wide so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so we just need to take off this layer here um, okay so that should be the a correct kind of length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay, so that should be the correct kind of length. So then we are going to get some pistons. Um and our bearings, seat, engine, and switches. Okay, so we are going to get out our seat. We're going to put it in the middle, right there. Then we are going to put them one back from behind the seat, um, like so. Two blocks here and here. You're going to get out some of your pistons. And we are going to start placing them on each other like this. Oh, that's hanging over the edge. Oops. I didn't mean to hang that over the edge. There we go. So one from one behind it is there. So piston thing, piston, block, piston, block, and then we'll go like this, and then we are going to do piston block on this side, like so, and yeah. So then you are going to weld this one and this one or two together. And then you are going to get your bearings out. Place your block. And then, uh, not place your block, place your bearings. And then go one, two, three, four, five, six up. So three, four, five, six. Come out two. Get some more pistons. Piston block. Piston block. Piston block. Piston block. The four. Piston block and then all you're gonna do is get out your bearing then get a big wheel out and then place it on there 
like so. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the four corners. The back ones do not need bearings when you put it on, on there. Do not put bearings there. Okay, so I'm going to do that for the other three corners and then I'll be back in a second. So guys, I have got all four wheels on as you can see. And now we are going to get out our switches and our engine. So the engine is going to go directly behind the seat and then we're going to just litter the engine with switches and then I'm just going to connect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. So we're gonna connect one into these here, the front ones. And then we're just going to set all of these to 15. like so, so now if you press 1 it goes out and then you press 1 again it comes back in so then we're going to get out our small wheels we are going to place a block and the block and then wheel and then block it out, block down wheel like so so we got that front bit going and we are just going to connect that up to the engine switch the direction of this one and then we're going to hook up these uh, they are actually doing the right way for once so uh, yeah so next we are going to need to connect these up to the engine and obviously the back ones up to the engine swap that one around swap that one around okay so then number two is gonna go to the bottom two so number two we're going to have for the front bottom two number three oh we need to do this side as well we're going to have number three for the back bottom two number four is gonna be for the next one up on the front Five is going to be from the next one up on the back. Six is going to be from the front next up. Uh, that one. Seven. Seven is going to be from the back next uh, next in line. Eight. To the top at the front. And nine. To the top at the, the back like so so now we can press yeah you only go up a little bit because we haven't set all of the control rooms so let's just grab these here let's get them on to the vehicle and then we'll try and make them as aligned as possible so we'll do that actually we'll put them at the back there so we got three blocks one two three one two three yes yeah, so we got three blocks on each side for a bit of space I'm going to grab this like this put that there and then we're just going to connect it up and then once you are out of gas on that one just unconnect it and connect it to the front one so yeah that is i think the vehicle actually it's not that ah yes uh yes we need to turn this up no no into the seat always remember to put the engine into the seat otherwise your vehicle literally goes flying so let's go up to a cliff and test it out so let's go up to this cliff here and two and three ah yes we need to set all of them to 15. Do not change the speed. Whatever you do, do not change the speed. 
because it will tip over. Guaranteed, it will definitely tip over. So we've all tried it, well I've tried it. So nearly there. Perfect. So now we're gonna go up to this cliff and we're gonna press two and three. We're gonna press four and five. We're gonna press one. Make sure it doesn't tip on us. Then we're gonna press two and four. Let them come up. Then we're just gonna drive over, ram it up, and yeah. Uh, no, wrong button. Three and five. Just get rid of them. <laughs> we just fall down. But it does work, it definitely does work. It's the exact same vehicle, so yeah so guys thank you very much for watching today's video before i get stuck uh yeah make sure you smash that like button if you did find this helpful this video helpful or if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more content just like this uh have a great day and peace